Finally, new sewage pipes are coming to parts of Bluffton. Some have had to deal with flooding for years, and now the city is stepping in. Fox 28 Shelby Roberts is live in the newsroom with more on the city's new sewer extension project, and I'm sure people are happy about this, Shelby. Very much so, Trey. The Jason Street Sewer Extension Project is long overdue, according to people that I spoke with in the area. The city of Bluffton says its goal is to provide actual sewer infrastructure to residents while protecting the May River. For years, flooding has been an issue for Bluffton residents and business owners along Jason Street. The area wasn't originally supposed to be a residential community, and that's led to infrastructure problems. This was an older community, and there's a lot of places in the community that did not have sewer, sanit sanitary sewer. But now, Bluffton officials are working to change that with the $900,000 Jason Street Sewer Extension Project. It's a decision that business owner Jeffrey Rabinowicz fully supports. Getting public sewer, which will eliminate all the septic tanks, will be good for the environment and everybody. So I'm looking forward to him for him to get it. Rabinowicz has owned his garage and towing company off of Jason Street for 30 years. He's had to use septic tanks to regularly pump water from behind his business. Now that the city is taking on the sewer extension project, Rabinowicz is feeling less pressure. The good part, in my opinion, about hooking into sewer, once you hook in, it's forever. You won't have to worry about it anymore. It'll be somebody else's problem. The sewer expansion project isn't the only construction Rabinowicz is dealing with. In front of his garage, the city is expanding the sidewalk from Pin Oak Street to Red Cedar Street as part of the May River Road Streetscape project. They want to move the fence, which is an old fence, and we negotiated replacing the fence instead of moving. And I did have to give up some property in order for them to do the sidewalk. He says even with the construction, he hasn't seen a decline in business at all. Now I'm just ready to get it done. This part of the project is expected to continue through midsummer. Coming up at 1030, the environmental impact left in officials say the project will have. Reporting live in the newsroom, Shelby Roberts, Fox 28 News at 10.